Hi everybody, thank you for watching. My name is Leo Russ. This is a review of Easy Board Work Junior Sawmill. And it's not only review, it's also a, an upgrade guide. Uh, so I um, own a piece of land in Idaho and after fires last summer we have a huge number of dead trees that um, we decided to turn into lumber. Uh, so that was the reason for uh, purchasing a sawmill. Uh, so I did uh, thorough research uh, online and looked at different options. Uh, So-called brand names uh, are grossly overpriced. They may or may not be uh, good, but um, some of them don't even have prices online, so you have to contact them and beg for a price list. That's something that raises a red flag immediately, at least for me. Um, so I was looking for a small company that uh, makes a decent product. Um, so I checked uh, um, a couple of Canadian companies that um, um, make sawmills with uh, Honda and Subaru engines. And that was my uh, one of the main requirements. I do understand that curl stratons and such like uh, may work. However, uh, I still trust Hunt and Subaru uh, way way more than those uh, Chinese aftermarket things. Um, so the when um, I did research, I found I looked at the uh, Sequoia brand uh, out of uh, Spokane, Washington. My neighbor bought one, and it's a joke. It's a bad joke. It's flimsy, overpriced, and uh, uh, they waited 16 weeks to get it. They had to go to Spokane and pick it up, so it was overall bad, bad choice. Um, so the first thing I always do when I buy an expensive product, I contact the uh, seller and see how well they communicate. If they don't communicate well, or don't communicate at all, I reject them right away because, um, well, obvious reasons. So this um, uh, company that manufactures uh, easy board, uh, boardwalk uh, does respond the, to phone calls, but not emails. They are not IT people. Um, so I uh, still it was uh, sufficient communication. They. Uh, managed to answer my questions and uh, looking at uh, very limited information online and on their site I figured that the construction in general is very solid industrial grade and that's that's what I was looking for I was ready for uh, some deficiencies or something that had to be improved that happens always with almost everything I buy uh, but uh, that's uh, inevitable, um, so I was ready for that, so I'm not disappointed. And after using this meal for a couple of months, I uh, confirm that it's, it's a good product and it's worth its money. So first, with uh, what options uh, you can buy, that, that information is available online, but uh, I want to emphasize why I chose one and didn't choose the other. So the engine, I already mentioned, uh, the Honda engine is uh, uh, the best option available, so it does come with Honda engine. Uh, for 250 bucks, you can get a um, electric start system. Uh, you can save a few bucks and buy um, a starter kit uh, from uh, somebody else. But um, I decided not to cut hairs and uh, let them install it. So the engine with electric start is one option that I chose. The other option that I really need is. Um, trailer. It has to be portable. Uh, the the trailer package runs four hundred sixty dollars, and I rejected it. And the reason for that is um, the the site explicitly states, and looking at the picture here, um, you can tell that um, you cannot mill on the um, uh, trailer. So you need to remove the uh, mill from the trailer every time after you move it. And that's not an option for me because our land is all um, hills and uh, there are very few, if any, 
uh, flat spots where the uh, well, it can be installed on the ground. Um, also, uh, we need to move it uh, f from sp uh, spot to spot where the trees are, and every time pulling it off the trailer is pain. Uh, the site says it takes a few minutes, it may take a few minutes if you have a crane. Uh, we do have a small tractor, so we can do that, however, it's a uh, uh, hassle. So I bought it without the trailer, and uh, I'll show you what we did for uh, transportability uh, later in this uh, presentation. So basically the only option that uh, I purchased was uh, Honda motor with the uh, starting uh, starter kit, but not the trailer. Um, so this picture is original from the side, that's how it comes with the trailer package. So this is what it looks like after um, uh, modifications. Uh, so as you can see, uh, the, the land is not flat and this is probably the best spot, the most level spot in our land. So we had to uh, set it uh, with jacks. So we welded six jacks, three on each side, you can see uh, here, and uh, they work wonders. Perfect. So those uh, jacks, you can buy them, those are trailer jacks, you can buy them for uh, 25 bucks a piece, and uh, it's worth the money because installation, pretty much any terrain, as you can see here, we just used uh, stumps to uh, level it. Uh, takes literally five minutes and uh, it's very easy to pick up um, and move to another location. Uh, so the trailer, uh, I purchased this trailer right here from Harb Freight. Uh, it runs about two hundred dollars, it has twelve hundred, uh, have to be exact, eleven uh, seventy pound capacity. The sawmill is thousand pounds, so it's perfectly suitable. We drove it from our house uh, to the land and the highway and it handles perfectly fine. So when the uh, mill is moved all the way back, it's perfectly balanced. Uh, one person can lift the front of the uh, frame and uh, connect it to the uh, hitch easily. So that's a uh, very, very nice uh, setup. Um, no, it's it's stable. It's lower than the than their original setup, so uh, it uh, handles uh, turns better and highway sp at highway speeds. So that's that's another good thing. Uh, so uh, this is a view of the trailer, how it's attached. to just use uh, 10 millimeter bolts uh, uh, on the frame. Right here is one. Here is one, and there are a couple in the back and on the other side, and uh, it's a perfect, perfect setup. Um, also, this trailer, Harbor Freight trailer, comes with the uh, with the lights, so you don't need to get it as an option, and everything is easy to install. And um, it's, uh, it's the sawmill is pretty heavy, but other than that, installation is a breeze, and it can be used. You can uh, mill lumber on the trailer. So you just support it with the jacks here and uh, uh, that's all you need to do. So the next uh, the next picture, uh, this is the tongue, the same, the original tongue that came with the trailer, but uh, just attached it with a couple of bolts here and here. Um, instead of attaching to the trailer in the back, attached it to the sawmill frame. That's all. And there's a two front jacks. This is very stable, it may look flimsy, but uh, we logged pretty large um, trees and uh, uh, cut lumber with log from large logs and uh, it's perfectly fine. Now there are some limitations that uh, are not immediately uh, clear from their site. Um, first of all, um, uh, when they say uh, th there's some outrageous huge amount uh, di diameter of the logs you can mill, that's not true. You can do about 20 inches, but it's sufficient, it's enough for us because uh, we have a small tractor and we can't really handle uh, really heavy logs. Um, but there is a limitation. The um, vice system here 
um, if you move this part, the part that actually adjusts the log diameter, the log diameter, if you move it too far, the rail will not allow it to to be set. So it's the, don't expect to be able to cut 40 inch uh, diameter logs. It will not happen. Uh, but again, for us, it's not a big limitation, and probably this limitation exists for all uh, personal, uh, portable, small uh, sawmills. Okay, next. Uh, here's the original uh, sawmill. So uh, all improvements that uh, we've done, um, uh, there are two categories, convenience and necessities. So I'll, I'll start with necessities. Um, these, um, the original, uh, this is a model 40, but um, Junior has exact same system. So this is the safety uh, system. Here is a lever that is supposed to hit this, um, well, I don't know what to call it, uh, stop, I don't know, a tab. Um, and protect the uh, blade from uh, cutting metal because all it takes is one little touch and the blade is ruined. This is a nice idea but uh, bad implementation. So starting, this is bad implementation. So if you uh, feel like um, implementing, adopting any of my suggestions, I hope you will send some blades my way. Because, uh, so um, we had to uh, modify this uh, uh, system all around. It's not really good. So this is the modified version. We use the exact same tab here and now compare it. This is the original, the angle and uh, shape. So what happens, the um, uh, safety lever here, when it hits at the very top, it jumps over it. And next thing you know, the blade cuts the top of this, of this tab. So the, here's what we did. First of all, it's, uh, we made it, <coughs> uh, by the way, on Junior, it's uh, rotated 90 degrees so here, but uh, otherwise it's the same system. So what we did, we cut this, uh, diff different shape, sharper angle, and bent this step just a little. Uh, so let's see what it looks like. Uh, further, here it is in the upright position, and this is the safety tab, this is safety lever, and this is the blade, obviously. So what happens in any any contact with the with this tab, it stops, and it will not jump over it because the angle has changed. Also, this angle is kind of flat now, so the um, blade will not cut here before it even reaches the uh, safety tab this location. So this is something that uh, is absolutely necessary. Like I said, I ruined two blades uh, before I realized that this change is, this update is necessary. Alright, so next. Uh, so this picture shows uh, how the um, shocks, uh, the uh, struts uh, are attached, uh, the jacks are attached in the back. So there are 2,000 pound jacks, you don't need more than that. Six of them uh, gives you 12,000 uh, pounds. It's way more than any log you ever deal with. So it's just welded, uh, the tube, tubes are welded here. This is the back uh, side. So it's exactly the same setup uh, in the front and uh, two in the middle. Um, so th th those are Necessity is something that uh, absolutely has to be done. So next is this. The uh, uh, sawmill uh, rides on the frame, on the channel, on the channel here, um, and it's not attached in, in any way, shape, or form. And that I felt very uncomfortable about it. It's a four, five hundred pound unit uh, that may slip 
uh, fall and it's really not safe so we installed two brackets just uh, steel angles with uh, bolts on each, and there's uh, one on each side on this side and on that side so it took a little tweaking to make sure that it does not um, <coughs> uh, touch the um, rail here underneath but now the sawmill is sa safe to operate it will not it will not fall on you so that's I consider a necessity and here we welded um, two ramp supports for we never used it so far but um, uh, they are made for just standard flatbed trailer ramps um, <clears throat> so we can roll the uh, log on the uh, on the mill frame uh, this is a convenience and like I said we have a tractor so we can uh, manage our logs without without this however if you don't have a tractor and if you need to roll the logs and you're uh, and you did the uh, trailer upgrade like this so it's above the ground uh, this is going to be a lifesaver it's very very convenient uh, next is this is the ramp support <laughs> another view so this is just an uh, angle that uh, we welded to the frame. It doesn't have to be welded. You can use a couple of bolts here on top and uh, attach it. So this is pretty obvious, not a big deal. Uh, next is, uh, well, kind of necessity slash convenience. The original uh, setup, um, the sawmill comes with the uh, paper scale glued to the uh, slide here and it has uh, right here it has a plastic thick plastic uh, plate with um, a mark on it it's absolutely impossible to set exact thickness you need to calculate you know how many uh, 30 seconds or 64th plus when uh, in bright sun the there's very sharp shade from the uh, mark on the plate so you, it's very difficult to distinguish and I struggled and never achieved perfect thickness. They go all over the place, give or take, and sometimes one eighth. And so that was not acceptable. Uh, so what I ended up doing, I purchased for eight bucks a standard 36 inch uh, uh, aluminum ruler and uh, attached it with uh, 3M uh, uh, molding dual layer tape holds perfectly uh, it can handle uh, weather temperature anything so it's a very sustainable design um, and the other item here is a gauge it's a depth gauge standard depth gauge of course it was not made for this uh, but it works fine here so here that's what it looks like uh, unfortunately, I <laughs> I could only find it uh, for reasonable price in China, so it's metric, but it doesn't matter because um, I can um, set um, uh, the level at the uh, even inches, even inch mark, and then I do inch and a half, uh, three inches, and so on, and I can set it at any any location. And this, this is very important and uh, makes life much easier. I paid 14 bucks for it. It's stainless steel with two stainless steel screws. These two holes are used to uh, hold the original um, uh, clear plastic uh, plate with the mark. So this, this is my mark. Also, um, it was not adjusted uh, correctly from the factory, so I adjusted it so that this uh, mark right here at the bottom of this bracket uh, is precisely uh, I think it's uh, one <coughs> one and one eighth of an inch and so from the bottom of the frame so I know exactly where I am and again if you need to cut subsequent uh, <coughs> boards you can move this um, engage in any location you want and uh, achieve perfect results So for a total uh, uh, 20, uh, 
to 23 bucks it's definitely worth it it saves so much time and you don't uh, ruin most of your lumber uh, next is a pure necessity item um, the uh, meal comes with one gallon uh, lubrication water uh, tank um, which is a st uh, standard gas uh, canister one gallon uh, it's certainly not enough I, I would like to have it at least two gallons because every two uh, so hours you have to uh, fill it so if you have a water hose right next to the uh, meal then this is not a problem you fill it with the hose however in our case uh, you, I need to pull the uh, canister and uh, take it to the water source and um, in the original setup this hose uh, this this connector uh, quick connector was not there it was just so you need to unplug it every time and of course the hose is connected at the bottom of the canister so when you are filling it it's, it's leaking so you need to fill it and plug the hose at the same time then you carry it back to the um, uh, mill uh, make sure you keep it uh, shut and then when you go through the and install it into the uh, bracket where, where it supposed to be it and you go to the hole so it starts leaking again so it's it's a major pain uh, it's not crucial it's not gonna kill you but uh, it's pain so I ordered this uh, stainless steel uh, quarter inch uh, hose quick connector standard connector unfortunately I could only find it in China but it was uh, four bucks and it's worth every penny and more so that's that's about it um, now Stratton, one word for you again, uh, if you decide to uh, adopt any of these suggestions, I would appreciate if you send some uh, uh, blades my way. Uh, my uh, invoice number is 921, so you know how to find me, and I also include my contact information in, these, in the description of this video. Uh, thank you for watching, uh, have a nice day.